taking a tour of the arts. Yeah, we're taking a look at five different area museums today, and Justin Williams, he's joining us live this morning from one of them. So, Justin, what are you doing this morning? You're just showing us some pretty interesting things there. Oh, it's just incredible. It's, it's yeah, some interesting things, some interesting items and works of art, but also an interesting event. This is the second annual Milwaukee Museum Mile Day. We're in the Charles Ellis Art Museum, but it is one of five, as you mentioned, that folks will get to go into for free or for a reduced rate. Mm -hmm. And they'll get to actually get transported to and from for free via the free shuttle, right, John? That is correct. We do have a free shuttle that makes a loop every half hour. Uh, we also encourage people to walk and ride their bike. I mean, this is the museum mile, so these uh, museums are spaced out. Uh, within a walking distance as well. It would be a great day to go for a walk. Perfect day. That's yeah. excellent. Okay, now he's given us, Matt has given us a, a look at one room here in the Charles Ellis Art Museum. Can you give kind of the abbreviated tour that you were giving me as you were showing some of, this is the way that the Ellis's left this room. That is correct. Um, Sarah passed away in 1945 and they donated their mansion with all of their furnishings and their world-class art collection uh, to the citizens of Milwaukee for uh, education and community enrichment and as well as a place for the community to come together. Okay, this is some of their artwork. It's all their artwork. This is not stuff that was brought in here. Back when they were collecting, you know, there was no art museum per se and so these industrialist families really wanted to bequeath uh, their collections, you know, for the betterment of, of the city. And they certainly didn't make it better. Let's move into this next room. Tell, tell me which, what this room is and what we're looking at here. Yeah, this is the library here. The Charles Alice uh, contains Charles's art books uh, for his research and his studies. But it's also, uh, we have our uh, Hudson River School painters here. Okay. And the books you're, you're talking about right behind us, I think. Let me move uh -huh. out of the way here. Yep. And these are actual books that the Alice's had about art. Uh, exactly. So when they were researching a particular painter or region or style, uh, they could do so here. They also were sent a lot of artwork back then. You know, uh, a dealer would just send you a crate and say, hey, if you like this, uh, buy it. If not, just send it back. So they were able to kind of follow up with those things. You have, it, th this event starts at 11, right? 11 to 4? 11 to 4 o'clock, okay. yep. So you have five hours to do five of the museums. That is correct. Good luck to you. <laughs> if, if you if you can get out of one even, an incredible opportunity. It starts at 11 o'clock. All you have to do is get yourself to one of the museums, right? Right. Uh, any one of the museums, the shuttle bus will start here at the Charles Allison uh, Museum okay. of Wisconsin Art. Yep. And then it'll make the rounds. Make the round and it'll come back at each stop about a half hour loop. Excellent opportunity. It's free. The shuttle's free. The uh, museum's admission is free except for the North Point Lighthouse where it's two for one today. Get out there and take advantage of a beautiful day in Milwaukee and get exposed to some culture and some art. Okay, that's the latest. I'll stop talking. Let's get, <laughs> let you guys get back to the news. I'm sorry. I'm excited. Can you tell? Well, it is an enriching day. So, sounds good, Justin. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I like you can walk to all.